Welcome to the Canva classroom, everybody. Today, we are going to go over a masking technique that will turn this silhouette into one that has an image in it. Let's get started. Instead of using this size, I'm actually gonna open up a new project for this and I'm just gonna make it square. And the image that we will be using is this one, International Woman's Day Single Element. We're gonna make her larger. And the second element I'm gonna grab is this one, and it is called Yellow Round Shape. We're gonna make the yellow round shape cover up the woman and then right click, send it backwards. The first color will remain white and I will change the top element to white as well. This shape, I've tried it in a couple different colors and brown seems to work the best. Download PNG. Next up, I'm gonna add a page, go to Uploads tab, Upload Media, this a little bit larger, and then click Edit Image, Background Remover. Before I show you the free option, I wanna show you this. The white is now gone and there is only an outline or you will see that the image appears red. The free option is remove.bg. You will put the same image there and then download. Keep in mind, your download image is only now 500 by 500 instead of 1080 by 1080. And just so that we can do a comparison, I will upload our new media. You will notice if I zoom in, the edges just do not look as nice on the free version as the pro. What do you do next? Great question. We're gonna go find an image and it really does not matter what image you use. Let me put this one in and I'm gonna shrink it down as much as I can because you should recognize this technique from last time. So right click, send backwards. I'm gonna adjust the top layer so that the light bulb looks a little better. And now I'm going to change the background to the one that's in the document color. Now it's when we do the crop and cover technique. Are you ready? We will use circles. You can also use rectangles if you like. And what I like to do is I try to like to get rid of the lines because it helps a lot. There we go. That one will be brown. This one will be brown. Rotate. And now it's just a case of covering. I'm gonna shrink this back down so that we can see. And here's the thing, once you have one like this where everything's covered, you can actually put in different images if you want to change your mind later. So what I do is I can keep going like this, send it backwards, or on my keyboard, control, and there is a bracket. So control bracket, left black bracket, keeps it working backwards. You see, control bracket, you can even take it to where it would cover up part of the image in the background like that. So now what do you do? You've got all this stuff, you're gonna download it. So download PNG, this one's page two, download. And now you can take that one in, in any design, right? So here's a different design, you can upload it. Here's the upload, here's what it would look like. I'm hoping that this one works since it is a slightly different brown. Edit image, remove background, apply. Now, the fun thing about this is that you can now add effects. Edit image, you can add a shadow, 
You can make it look like a sticker. Like that gives it a sticker effect. You could change it to any color you want. I want to show you that it does work for anything that's silhouette like this. So you remember this one from last time? I will try this one. I'm just gonna go ahead and download it and we'll see if it works. What if I do something like this and try to cut out a shape? Upload, so here's three options. We'll see if they will remove the background. So that's the weird one that I just did with that weird shape. If I change the background, you will know for sure that it took. We'll do the same thing here. Apply, and we'll look at the last one that I did, which was this hair. Now, I'm gonna be honest, I have a feeling that this one is not gonna take just because there's so much that it would have to remove. But just try different things and see what works and what doesn't. Add an image here. Let's send it backwards. So it keeps the same color, the brown. So I'm not sure how well that one really works, but let's, let's look at this, what this would happen. So it's gonna take and make a really cool shape, a really cool organic shape. All right, and I'm gonna make it as large as possible make the same color as the background. I'm just trying to crop as much as I can. Send it backwards. So now, what do I do? I cover. You just keep duplicating, keep rotating until you cover all of these edge lines. I clicked R. You see how that cool blob looks? What if this was there? Control, bracket. I like that one better. Control, paper bag. But do you see, you can come up with a whole bunch of different things. I, I absolutely love it. And when you download it, you would re-upload it and do what we did here. Well. That's all I have for you today. If you enjoyed this tutorial and want to see more like it, then make sure you subscribe and like and comment and do all the things. And I'll see you next time. Bye.